So last month I created and released Crab Game, which is a parody multiplayer game based on Squid Game, and a lot of people were concerned I would get into legal trouble with Netflix and Squid Game. But let's be real, it's not gonna be a problem since no one's gonna download a stupid game called Crab Game anyway. Stop. Stop. Oh no. Within a week, it had 50,000 concurrent players. It hit first place on new and trending on Steam, all over the news, and on top of Twitch, which is crazy. So since the launch went so well, I can finally take a break and relax. <laughs> And that's when the Crab Game incident happened. Big streamers XQC and Soda were DDoS while playing Crab Game because Crab Game was using the old Steam P2P networking, but it's outdated and could leak IP addresses. Uh, whoops. Well, time to switch to the new networking and rewrite literally all of the code. That's, <laughs> that's gonna be fun. <laughs> So I got to work and after 3 days, all of the networking code has been reworked and there are no more IP leaks. I think. P probably. <laughs> Maybe. Anyway, I'm sure nothing else will go horribly wrong. That was, uh, I was foreshadowing. A lot more things will go terribly wrong. So, yeah. Now since Crab Game kind of blew up, we need to make the game more unique and different so Netflix doesn't sue me for yoinking Squid Game because th that would be bad. So first I added a new mode called Race, a completely original concept where you have to move through a stage with obstacles. Wow, look at those obstacles. <laughs> so if you don't make it to the end, you're disqualified. Isn't that literally just Fall Guys, but worse? I mean, it's practically the exact same concept, but you- Oh wow, he lost connection, that's crazy. So anyway, I made three maps. We have Lava Climb, Macaroni Mountain, and S uh, Sussy Sandcastle. I also added a new game mode, Bustling Buttons, based on one of my favorite Mario Party 2 minigames, where you just press a button and uh, one of them will blow you up. Surely blue will work this time. What? Wow, that's crazy fun, but don't take my word for it. Let's ask the players. Hey, Dream, you, you like this game mode? They're gonna have to do any you piece of shit. You You ruined me, you piece of shit, by adding this dumbass button game. you. Yeah! Wow, he loves it. We also got a bunch of new maps. This one is called Return to Monke. <laughs> and of course, a Carlson map. Oh, you don't <laughs> you don't know what Carlson is? You little bit Carlson's just a little game I'm working on, which just covers out. Yeah, that's your bit. So I hit the update button to release the new maps and modes to the public, and uh, let's see what people are saying. <clears throat> Muck, <laughs> Daddy, add sex, please. <laughs> What the f where's sexy update? Sexy sex. <laughs> Remove button game. Remove it. Hey Danny, please fix the racism in crab game. I legit can't join a public game with no racist in it. Hey that that's a pretty good idea. Oh, I, I can't believe I never saw that button. Well, thanks Twitter user. I'll take care of the rest. <clears throat> Racism is no more. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Hey, listen. I'm just doing my part. That's all there is. Thanks, bro. Thank you. I appreciate it. No, come on. Really, it's, it's the least I So now that I've updated the game and uh, ended racism, it's time for me to take a well-deserved break and relax a little bit. <laughs> So a bunch of hackers found an exploit to basically hide all of the servers, so no one could play Crab Game. But calling them hackers might be giving them too much credit, they're wow, basically wow. script kiddies who used literally one line of code to exploit the Steam API. Because of this, only Steam can fix the issue, not me, so you know what that means. Dear Jeremy, I miss you babe, long time no see. 
Anyway, this is bad news. Hackers have ruined crab game servers. I'm gonna need backup. ことが<笑> So yeah, Steam helped me change some internal settings for my game and the issue was resolved and the hackers were never seen again. Thanks Jeremy, very cool. Alright, well now that all of the issues are fixed, it's time to finally take a break and relax a little bit. Please add cosmetics to the game. Can you add cosmetics to muck and crab games? They are free games. Danny isn't that kind of person to milk their games if it gets popular. That's what makes Danny different. He doesn't care about money or fame or any of that. I already know. He is not gonna add cosmetics. Are finally done, boys. <laughs> Time to make some money. My dear Jeremy, how can I add cosmetics to my game? Yours forever, Danny XOXO. Hearts. Hi, if you're referring to the Steam inventory, bleh, let us know if you have any specific questions not covered here. Best regards, Andrew. Hi, Andrew. Thanks, and yes, I do actually have a question. Where's Jeremy, you sick f Cheers, Danny. So I took Andrew's advice and read up on how the Steam inventory system works, and then I implemented all of the code into Crab Game. Then I got to work in Blender on making the actual cosmetics, which is the fun part, and I made about 10 haircuts, 18 hats, 17 accessories, and 10 shoes. Short for, that took way too long and I wanna die. Not really, that's a joke. Actually, now to make it more interesting, these can all appear in different colors with different rarities, the most rare being golden. And items also have a small chance of being shiny, which <laughs> means they glow, ooh. But this is super rare. Then I made a crab box model with a funky little animation for opening it, and it now works like a charm. Almost. Alrighty, it now works like a charm. Anyway, now we just need a way for players to get these items. So I went with a simple approach where at the end of a round, crab boxes are dropped randomly and you can open them for free to get items. Yeah. 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 Oh, Sheesh. I'm pretty happy with how the cosmetics turned out and it's also kind of fascinating to see how the marketplace works and how expensive some items are, like cat ears. People really like their, their cat ears. Well, let's see what kind of... <laughs> A hundred dollars for for golden cat ears. Yikes. Yikes. Yikes! But Jeff do be looking kind of cute with the cat ears, though. Flush. Well, with cosmetics done, it's finally time for a well-deserved break. Huh? It's from Twitch. Hi, Danny. As we look ahead to the excitement of 2022, we can't help but take a moment to look back at all of the amazing moments like Twitch community. Speaking of the best of the best, congratulations! You've been nominated to the following award. Best competitive game, crab game. Thanks, Mitsu. Heh. Yeah. How? How? I, crab game is just not a competitive game. It's the least competitive game. Hi, Mitsu. That's great to hear. I specifically designed crab game with a highly competitive aspect in mind. Looking forward to winning this event. Cheers, Danny. And finally, the day of the event has arrived. I'm obviously not going to win because, well, Crab Game is just not competitive at all. And the winner is Crab Game. What a fantastic pick. Shout out to chat for picking Crab Game. The game that goes best with Old Bay seasoning and butter. Hi Mitsu, great event! Glad to see Crab Game won Most Competitive Game Award, it's <laughs> very fitting. 
Hi, Daddy. Congrats on the win. We have a trophy we want to send you, so could you please send me your name, address, telephone number, please? Thanks, me too. They are definitely asking for this information so they can send a hitman to take me out for making them a laughing stock. So I probably shouldn't send my information to them. But I really want that trophy though. But I'm not gonna send my information on a whim like that. It's a bad idea and I- Hi Mitsu, my name is I live at and my phone number is 54 I'll keep you posted on if I receive a trophy or an assassination, so I guess follow me on Twitter or my second channel or something. Anyway, as you know, it's winter time. Uh, unless you live in Australia, but Australia isn't real, I think. So I made a Christmas update where there's basically snow all over the place. I also made a dodgeball game mode just like you played in elementary school, but um, uh, <laughs> the balls explode and fucking kill you. <laughs> Are you, have you put like bombs inside hmm. of these snowballs? I mean, there might be a little gunpowder, but that's just... What? <laughs> and I created a limited time holiday box, which has a lot of Christmas items and a, a pumpkin. Um, now, you know what else we need for a Christmas update? Yep, crabs. Because as you know, Jesus rode into Jerusalem on a giant crab, I think. Wow, that's... that's a big crab. So I made a giant crab model in Blender, put him into the game. But he's looking kind of scary right now, so let's just go ahead and, uh, yep, that is much better. Then I made a bunch of animations, and finally, crab in crab game. Oh, it's it's time! It's time! It's time! No! <laughs> oh, I'm gaming, I'm gaming. Oh, wait, oh. Oh, you're not gaming anymore. <laughs> <laughs> He's named after game dev and YouTuber Tantan, who came up with the crab fight idea. So, go check him out. And just like that, crab game is now a game about crabs. Definitely not squid game. And it's 100% impossible to sue me now, because... Uh, we, we got crabs, so, I mean, yeah. Anyway, I just want to say massive thanks to everyone who helped me test the game. You were all very PogChamp, and I definitely couldn't have made this without you. Also, thanks to everyone who's downloaded and played the game, especially big streamers. It's been really fun to watch them play with their viewers and just have a fun and good time. Oh, you're a bad friend! You're a bad friend! Why is my team doing you so bad? You're so bad! No! As for the future of Crab Game, I don't think I will be updating it much more. It just became much bigger than I anticipated, and I wasn't even planning on updating the game at all. And it's just generally incredibly stressful, and no matter what I update or change, there's always people that complain or demand I do things the other way. If I update the game, people tell me to stop updating it. If I don't, people tell me to update the game. So for my own mental health and just stress levels, I don't think I will be working much on the game anymore. But hey, Microsoft, if you want to buy crab game for five fifty billion dollars let me know and i got you anyway that's it for me thanks a lot for watching i really appreciate you you're very pog champ as always drink milk hit billy and crab <laughs> <laughs>